Hello guys, welcome to a new video. This will be a continuation on our last tape video where we'll try to hunt down some examples using market replay. I have it playing real time about 45 minutes after the, no sorry, 15 minutes after the open of the market. Uh, it's around this time I like to look for setups rather than just trading out uh, momentum because it's at this point where Positions have already been established, and now this is where people are either going to be defending or attacking those positions. For the sake of making it a little bit more easier, I'll look to minimize out our other markets, and we'll be playing on just the ES, and this will be just on the tape setups themselves, not even speaking on to correlations or such as those. To run down a quick recap of what our setups are, the first one is around icebergs. What constitutes a good iceberg trade is where you find a price that seems to hold and once it gets to a point where one side can no longer really attack it and there's it's clear that it's being defended well, that gives the defending participants a chance to then attack the opposite side and that will help move prices in their favor. Our second setup of course is our sort of one-way tape where we rally or dive, we have a pause, some retracements as it waits for the opposite side to start building up walls for them to push through again. And then our last setup is more of a fady sort of opportunity where you want to see some sort of amount of time and decent volume building up into like a little bubble and that's why i have the histograms present in this moment you trade through the bubble to one side it snaps back in and we begin to trade the other side it's at that moment where we want to start placing limit orders within the lower or upper distribution and using uh, that tail end as your stop placement. I will personally say I prefer that bubble sort of trading compared to the other setups, but we'll see how this ends up in this session. So we've made our little range. We have built some volume throughout the day. Well, 20 minutes of the day. And it's at this point we want to start watching. First setups to form. If I can get some time here, I now have a tail. I want this tail to hold. Start to trade the lower ends. I can start placing orders here. This will be my protection. That was very quick. And <laughs> it's important to know that uh, my target and stops are a one to one ratio of eight ticks either side. In this moment, I'm glad those were there. Because that was a crazy jump there. Always have safe sleep tops. If this stays as a range, our third setup tends to be the best. If there's clear momentum upwards, which it appears to be, then our second setup would tend to be our best, as well as the iceberg in some situations. So let's reset. Watch to see if we catch any of those. Either setup one or setup two. Not thickening too much, but there is some walls there. So our second setup might be here. Might look to place some buy orders around here. Let's see if we can get some back ticking. I'm not getting too much of that. No icebergs present as of yet. I'm 
you can note there has been some reloading. Want to stay with buyers. Let's trade down here. This actually might be our third setup where we can fade into our trend. Not too much of a tail there, but sometimes you gotta be adaptable. This could have ended up being a good tail. And I'm incorrect. Momentum has shifted. I would have wanted to sell that, but we've already gone past where my target would have been. I'm seeing big numbers for sellers. Some time, some volume. Some volume, some time. Clean one side, we check the other. Don't look to start selling now. If this falls along with our second setup, but there isn't much of a retrace. Some iceberging here. Could look to see if that gets defended by buyers. We can rely on this tail end to protect us. Even so much to tighten our stop. This should place us at a break-even point for the moment, outside of commissions. And that would be considered a decent set for uh, icebergs, where we did have some defense. It tried to be aggressive, got pushed down, but not far enough below where it originally created its little micro low. We're not getting much of a one-way tape. Still pretty even both sides. So our second setup is not available just yet. Things are starting to speed up. So I am more curious about sellers being aggressive in this instance. We can start to retrace slowly some of this. To around here. taking a bit long and if at this point it bursts up I wouldn't want to be caught into it time volume even though there's some iceberging what I wanted to for sure to see is maybe our third setup where we burst down come back in and protect this area here Actually, I might try and see if this ends up working out for the iceberg. Glad we have our stops there. We didn't get our third setup. If it can come in quick enough and start to trade the other side. And that could be a half part of that. I think currently we'd be down four ticks.
again with the third setup it's more of like a fading reversion to the mean sort of thing we know that we have some volume up here so this could be a farther target as opposed to where I would normally keep eight ticks if we can burst down again and come back in I might try another long there and this is only sticking to the fact that we have a range and it is sort of tapered on either side this seems very heavy so I might look to see when sellers come back in and take it back down we had some sellers pushing in alongside us if we can get this we should be about eight no sorry four ticks even above build some time. It's not really sticking around. This day seems pretty thin. I'm not that comfortable thinking this is enough of a tail for us. I want to see to maybe burst through and see if this is even real. What I wouldn't want to happen is if I go long and it just decides to test down at that point. Now we get to sale. So it's looking to get a bit more aggressive in that area, but I didn't get my fill. We'll cancel it. Reevaluate. That's some selling tape right there. Let's see if we can get something here. Maybe even tighten our stop if it gets filled. Not quick enough. Getting some time built. Give it an opportunity to fade upwards if it can test down. not confident with this being there still a lot of selling coming through we can retrace a little bit and come crashing through there we go I think that puts us around 12 or so ticks on this replay That was more so towards our second setup being painted one-sided. And it seems like most icebergs haven't been holding up this past while. So it gives us that probabilistic outcome where it's going to probably crash through again. And so it's clear to us now that selling is king for this moment. And any setups we have now should be applied in that direction. So in this instance, if we start trading upwards, we start building up little distributions, I will look to sell those. If tape resumes to selling, I will sell those. And if an iceberg is above us, optimally, we want to sell those. Vice versa for buying. If you get those instances where it's one way trading. You also don't have to be afraid of uh, fading some moves. As with the third setup, if we do get a quick burst down and back in, I wouldn't be scared to purchase some of that.
probably allow this recording to go for five more minutes or so, and we'll call it a day. I'll try to continue reiterating these setups throughout so that it sticks in. I didn't want this to be too scripted, and I'm glad I didn't trade this day so that I could do so. I think this day, which was uh, the recent Friday of the July 22nd, I was trading bonds. And this bond day, I was pretty much done before this market even started working out. Do you take him for a word or don't? It really doesn't matter at this point. I'm just rambling until we get some good setups coming back in. All right, we got some time. We got a little bit of a tail forming at this point, hopefully. We could probably take a chances now and move our stops closer if it gets us filled. I like that nine. On a footprint, you would look at it as a zero. That's like a short term top. I want to be maybe two ticks from that. Does it got a little burst down, but it's coming back up. Might as well try and see if we can get a scratch. Uh, we'll take our stop. It wasn't fast enough. Decent selling though. Pretty mixed. Time, volume, burst up, burst down. Let me trade that part of it. Move my stops two ticks once it actually gets filled if we get filled if my target's usually two ticks I don't want it trading too far into what would be my target because at that point it's pointless Trying to quickly approach our five minute mark. Have made too many trades. I think it just places us at about what? Barely eight ticks? Okay. I might try and fade this now. Upwards, actually. I'm getting a lot of uh, pushback from buyers. So we'll look to see if we can buy some of that. Let's see if we get a break it on that. It didn't appear like it was gonna work out. And I was incorrect. Probably broken about even at this point. I probably should have stuck to just selling. Let's let Ego take the wheel so we can get some selling up here and move our stops to 93 if we get it. Let's trade a lot of 90s though. to buy this. I had 
attempted to do a fading with our third setup. Because I had built some time overall and seemed like there wasn't too much interest going down again, but the interest has resumed. We have a lot of positioning down here now, though. This is going to be a quick down up, like I would prefer. Creating above it. I want to start looking to buy from around here. This could actually end up being a bigger position, or sorry, a longer holding position. Let's move our targets up to a moment where there's higher volumes. I'm gonna protect it with this movement down and taper here. I'm liking that there's a bluing buying of tape going on here. I can see large lots going through. I could even try to use opposing fading setup to try and see if I could tighten up this target. Now I'm going to just a lot of that point. I'll do take two ticks from there. And that was a great example of sort of the third setup. I would say I tailored it a bit more on a larger scale where I looked towards this tapering. Even though there was some built volume, it didn't build any time as it went through. It was still burst down and then quickly back up. And so I looked at it as a larger point of this distribution where we look to buy a lower end of it and see if we can trade above it or even to our another higher node. And I think that was a great place to end this video now, extending a bit more than the five minutes. And I hope you guys can rewatch this and even replay on your own and take your own notes revolving these sort of setups. If this sort of uh, semi unscripted video is not to your guys' liking, please leave us comments. Or if it is something you guys love, we'll try and maybe do some more. Especially nowadays since I've been doing more bonds as opposed to equities. This gives me a nice chance to have some fun with it. Alright guys, keep your notification bells on and we'll see you on another video. Bye bye.